Well, my original plans have changed. Um, whoa, look at that deer back there. <laughs> I, there, was, there was two bucks on the way here, pulling in, and there's deer over there. There's deer everywhere right here. And I guess that's what happens when you get up early. So um, I'll explain that here later on maybe. But uh, I'm gonna try to do some fishing blood spillway. A uh, new place I've never been to. I don't know how far it is to get down there, but I'm gonna go down here and check it out. And um, yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna try to catch anything today. It's gonna be just one of those fishing videos for exploring a new place. There's a lot of water down there, and I'm just fishing for whatever we can catch. Dude, I'm 20 feet from that deer. Ooh, that's a lot of water down there. That's a lot bigger than I thought. Oh, this looks like a dangerous area, that's for sure. Oh, big old carp just jumped up right there. I'll start out with a, oh, oh, I had a hit. Start with a trout magnet. Oh, whoa. Oh. I don't know if I'd hit or if those things were jumping out of the water. I don't know what those were. They might have been, uh, they look like shad jumping, but. Oh, where's the fish? Oh, made a good bait fish too. What is that? No way. That's a tiny skipjack. Oh my, that is amazing. That is a, oh, that is perfect bait fish. Dude, that's warm too. That water is warm. Well, compared to today, it's 45 degrees right now. So we got some bait. There's one. All right, number two. Oh, I should have brought a bucket. I wish I could take these home. Oh, no. I got away. He flipped off and went underneath there and got back in the water. He was a little. Dude, there's so much fish coming through here. I see there's fish jumping. Probably just giant fish chasing, chasing stuff like crazy. I'm gonna throw that up in there and let it sink. These guys over here going for giants. They got some huge rods and it looks like they're using skipjack too, I think. I'm waiting to see if one of them pulls in a huge one over there, but they're definitely ready for it. Oh, that's a little bit better one. Don't come off. They come off real easy. Oh yeah. We're getting some bait now. I know my buddy Chris would be having a cow right now. All this skipjack catfish bait. Oh, there's one. All right. I never seen them this small though. I usually see them, when I see them, I see them bigger, but usually I'm throwing like a swim bed or something whenever I catch one randomly. But there's gotta be, no telling how many, just thousands and probably millions of shad and, and skipjack and stuff. Oh, oh, I missed two of them right there. Whenever I reel it in, that's when they hit. Oh, looky there, look who's calling. Tyler Reed. All right, we're gonna pick up here and go meet up with Tyler. But uh, I'm gonna try to get a, I wanna see a couple of these fish jump. We're gonna, we're gonna try to get a couple of these fish jumping on video if I can. But there's literally just big old fish jumping all over the place and maybe carp, maybe, you know, I don't know what else. One of them is either like a sturgeon or paddlefish, something crazy long. And uh, I haven't seen those guys down there catch anything yet, but I've only, I've only been down here, mm, I've been here 30 minutes or so. And um, skipjacking, or uh, the uh, skipjack fishing was definitely fun. And I couldn't catch it. I might try to catch a couple more, but I'm gonna try to take these back with me. I got some bait at least. Um, let's see here. I'll, I'll put them in a bag or something, hopefully. And uh, I got some, at least I got something to use for catfish. <laughs> I was thinking on the way over here, this isn't a fishing trip. We're just catching up from everything that's been going on. Yeah. Maybe a little fishing involved. I, I, I got creek stories to tell you. You got, oh my 
the story's from up north. <laughs> Dude, I actually had a really weird trip up north. And I was like, oh, whoa. Come on. My bait is right there. Hit it. Oh, what's going on? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's what's cool about it. Like, they. Exactly. It's like. Yeah, Vietnam flashbacks. Oh hey, there we go. What is that? Probably, drum. Probably. It's a drum. Dude. <laughs> it's a big old fish. It is a big old fish. He's probably gonna bend out my hook. I mean, if it was in the ocean, people, that's what they go for. Oh my gosh, I know. <laughs> but they're in freshwater, nobody cares. It's basically a, it's a lot of work. Yeah, it's just like, I don't want to be really putting all my time into that. I got fishing to do, people. I got fishing to do. Like the day I got that. Um, and you just think it's so sick. You could literally freaking cut it with a knife. I mean, it's crazy. Is that I do like this. I found this reel. Like, it's the, uh, the Mach 2 reel. It's, it's uh, I think it's like 70 something dollars. Feels really good. I'm really happy with it. The one loose, loose has one spin reel. It's supposed to be really good. There we go. You said it. This was the Helgramite spot. We just moved. I got one fish off that whole wall. We did like a mile long. Moved to a new spot. Get a little fish right away. Oh, whoa. And we're caught in a tree. All right. I'm happy to get something on the boat. A little small mouth there. Ooh. Start, start, you're ready to start catching them, aren't you? I'm ready to start you you're going to start catching them now. No, you, I don't think we've been missing it. I don't think we've been missing any of that or biting. Oh, there we go. Come on, take it. There he is. He's on there. There you go. <laughs> Calm down. He's a good fish. <laughs> oh, I'm always happy catching fish. Yeah, time to, uh, switch up the oh, oh, no. What in the world? He went down in here. Hold on. He's like stuck in the. Come here. Well, three smallmouth. Here we go. Yeah, there's something there. Oh my gosh, dude! Are you kidding me right now? What the heck? What is? I think it's drum. Hey, Reed Company. Hey, there's me. Oh, oh. Oh, it's a bass. He was hitting really weird, though. There must be a few of them, little guys. That was not bad, actually. There we go. Hey, a little largemouth. Huh. All right, let's help this rock walk and produce a fish. We're going to hit it's probably this last little area i'm gonna try to catch a fish on this bait i've thrown it for a while off and on and i haven't got a single bite on it so i'm gonna try it for a while then we'll go to what works yep yeah hey on my new lure that's large mouth well, he hooked him deep. Look how deep he took the thing. That's a new, uh, I just got these uh, hooks last night too. I wanted to try them out. I bought them for this lure. Get the, all right, we'll get this large mouth back in there. Whoa! <laughs> I about fell in. I was leaning over to put that fish in right when that wave hit. Whoo! All right, I got a, uh, this Nico bass worm on this offsetted uh, weighted hook. I don't remember what the weight is on it. I don't remember what it said. Not real heavy. Probably like a one eighth ounce, something like that. But I like that setup. Goodness. Dude, it would be a journey. It'd be like a thing where it's like, all right, we're going on a trip where we're have to, cause I don't know what, at what point it starts looking like a better Creek. And as far as river, I don't know how far you gotta go. 
but uh, that's that's a goal. I'm like, I want to do like a two, like a well, you probably ain't nowhere to. It's all public or all private property, so you wouldn't want to camp there or anything. But like, just get it in the morning. Sleep in your kayak. There we go. Uh, no, I don't. Well, I can't tell. It's pretty good. Fit. I can't. I'm not used to this big old. I got, I got him. Ain't that bad. Oh, that is pretty good. I, I'm not used to this heavy uh, setup, so I couldn't tell what it felt like. Ooh, we hammered it. Hey, I'm happy with that. <laughs> I don't know what I was talking about. I was talking about going up a creek. Finally, that's like my best one today right before we're getting close to leaving here. I'm definitely happy with that guy. Nice. And that's gonna about wrap it up for the fishing part of this video. Uh, it was great fishing with Tyler. Uh, we've only fished probably four or five hours out there. He had to get to work and I really need to head back home. Um, so I, I had so much going on this week. Uh, Monday, I, uh, I kayaked and fished in Parksville Lake. Tuesday, I kayaked in, um, in part of Chickamauga Lake. Wednesday, I waded a creek. And yesterday, Thursday, I waded a creek and today, I fish here in Old Hickory Lake, so first time fishing here. So I've been all over the place, and I've been on like a little three-day trip. Um, about to head back home. Got a bunch of editing to do, and uh, going through computer stuff, getting through that. And I'm meeting a guy, meeting some people tomorrow to wade um, in East Tennessee. So I've definitely been fishing all over and, and enjoying it. It's been a great week of fishing. Caught a lot of good stuff, and just had a lot of fun. So that was kind of just a little wrap up, and kind of a little bit, I guess, behind the scenes of what can happen. Actually. We were supposed to meet at six o'clock this morning and fish and then Tyler got up late, which I know what that's like. So I, that's why I went to the spillway and then we still end up getting to meet here and fish and we caught fish. And, you know, that's what you can, that's, what, that's what you go out for, you know, didn't get any big ones or giants, but we did catch fish. I think he caught a few more than I did. Plus he caught some big old drum. So I'll be sure I'll, I'll leave all his information below. He just crossed a thousand subscribers trying to get monetized be able to start making a little bit of money off of it and stuff like that so thanks for watching i know it's a little bit different video and uh sometimes i'm gonna do those like that just kind of show you what's going on